Hello, this is Caleb with God's Loving Sacrifice Podcast, where we talk about the Word of God and how it helps us get through today's world. I hope you learn and grow as you listen. Well, today we're going to talk about something a little different than what I normally talk about. Um, We're going to talk about me. It is Saturday. It's time to do my podcast. And I had no idea what I was going to do it on. I hadn't prepared for it this week. I got busy. I got a new job and I started it this week. So I was busy with that and then trying to do all the things that everybody else wanted me to do. And I was tired. And so I needed to lay down, take a nap. And then I watched watched a podcast and I cooked dinner and cleaned up my messes and went over and helped my neighbors and worked in the yard. And the week had come and gone. Saturday was here and I hadn't spent any time in God's word. I have podcasts in mind that I'm going to do, several of them, but I like to spend the week studying on those and praying about it and finding out what other people say about what I think. This week I was too busy. I'm ashamed that I was too busy. I'm ashamed that I let everything else get in the way of spending time with God. Everyone I talked to this week, I talked about God because that's just me. I always do that. But I didn't spend time talking to Him or listening for Him or reading His Word. Just being quiet, knowing that He is God. Didn't do it. How many times do we do that? How many times do we think, well, God always forgives us, so... I'm really busy, so I can put off reading the Word. I'll do that tomorrow, or I'll do it the next day, or later today. And we end up never doing it. And that's what I did, and I am so ashamed of doing that. Because without God, my life would be nothing. I have been through so much in my life, and in the last year and a half, God has got me through every single day. And it's funny, even the days that I forgot about him, he didn't forget about me. He still helped me through each one of those days. You know, I'm putting in an application for something and they didn't like something about it. And then I worried about how I was going to get it the way they wanted it. And then I had to take training for my job and trying to get through all the training and learning the ins and outs of what I was doing. And I have my grandbaby that I tutor. and It just seemed like one thing after another. My yard needs to be worked on before winter comes, and I need to take care of that. All of those things could wait. I don't mean that I wouldn't go to my job. I meant when I got home trying to think about what it was that I learned, I didn't have to do that. I could have learned something from the Word of God. God tells us that everything for our hands to do, that we're supposed to do it as unto unto him and not unto man. And I try to do that. But this week, I was just too busy. And I look back on the week and find nothing that I did, except for start a job and do the training. But what else did I accomplish this week? I know a little bit more about a show that was on that I watched and I cut down some grass in my yard, and do you know I could have taken that time when I was cutting down the grass and read the scripture, and when I was done reading the scripture, went out and cut down the grass. Took a nap. Could have read the scripture before I took a nap, or not taken a nap and came refreshed in the Word of God. Do you do this, or is it just me? We have to stop every day and think, there's nothing going on today that is more important than being in the Word of God, listening to God, talking to God, waiting on God. There's nothing more important. I'm only going to use one scripture, and I think this scripture says it all, and I think it's something that we need to each read at least once a week and remember that our money problems, um, our work problems, our home problems, our neighbor's problems, anything that's going on, God is concerned about it. 
God will help us take care of it. He will get us through the emotional issues that we're going through, the the worries. I don't know why I was worried this week because I am such a big proponent of not worrying. And that's one of the scriptures. That's the scripture that I'm going to use it has in there. And I, I've always told my kids, if worrying can't make you taller, then don't do it. But yet I fretted and I fussed and I fought and I couldn't sleep and you know, maybe I was awake because God needed me to wake up and get in his word. And sometimes when we can't sleep, maybe we need to pray. I've said it before, I'm very disappointed in myself. I hope not to do that again, but I will. And God will forgive me because that's the kind of God that he is. He'll forgive me, he'll hold me, and he'll make me get through Everything that I'm going through, everything that I was frustrated about, everything that I was fussy about, he'll be there. He'll walk right along with me, even though I did not take the time to spend with him. I can't go back and have that time with him now, but going forward, I can. And when we see our lives getting so busy that we're forgetting the most important person in our life and we're not spending time with God, our lives will never slow down. God gives us the peace in our life. Had so many things happen. I've called my kids the other day and said, uh, would you guys please quit praying for patience for me because everything is going wrong. And of course, you know, the scripture says that tribulation bringeth patience. But it wasn't that. Everything was going wrong because I wasn't where I needed to be. I wasn't in the arms of God. I was too busy thinking, I knew the answers, and I could fix whatever it was that needed fixing. My scripture that I want to read to you is in Matthew. It's Matthew 6, 25 through 34. Like I said, read it every week if you need to, because what it says is very important. It says, therefore, I say to you, do not worry about your life, what you should eat or what you will drink, nor your body what you will put on? Was not life more than food and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the air, for they neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns. Your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? Which of you, by worrying, can add one cubit to his stature? So why do you worry about clothing? Consider the lilies of the fields. How they grow, they neither toil nor spin. And yet I say to you that even Solomon in all of his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Now if God so clothes the grass of the field, which is today and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, will he not much more clothe you, O ye of little faith? Therefore, do not worry, saying, what shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? For after all of these things, the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly Father knows that you need these things. And here's the catcher. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added to you. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about its own things. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. So instead of seeking all of our trials and tribulations and busy lives and doing things for other people, and I mean, we should do all of those things. But it says, seek ye first the kingdom of God. When we seek him, when we spend time with him, when we're in his arms, he gives us the rest that we need. He helps us through the things that we're going through. He lifts our spirits. And you know, when you seek God, you don't have to be ashamed of the week that you spent not talking to him. He's forgiven me. I know that that's time with God, but I'll never get again. Talk to him every day. I pray that you enjoyed today's episode. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave a message by contacting me 
on the website at www.godslovingsacrifice.com. And while you're there, you can catch up on all the other episodes, check out the reviews, and even read the blog. You can also leave a comment on Facebook at God's Loving Sacrifice. Thank you for spending time with us today. And until next time, may God richly bless and keep you.